We're here at VITU in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Hong Yul Yeom, Chairman of Study Group 17. Welcome, and thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Thank you very much for inviting me. First of all, I'd like to congratulate you on your chairmanship. And um, could you please uh, provide our viewers with uh, an overview of a work that's taking place in Study Group 17? Thank you. Study Group 17 is responsible for building trust and security in the use of ICT. So we currently has a three lead study group roles. First one is lead study group, group on security. And second one is lead study group on identity management. And third one is lead study group on telecommunication language. So in the past, we had a 12 uh, questions, starting from question one and question 12. But at this meeting, is the first meeting in the study period, we, study group 17, agreed to establish a new question that is a question 13. So we became a 13 questions. So actually, uh, we, let me briefly introduce the, uh, each questions. For example, question one is a responsible for coordination activities within the ITUT and within the study group 17 and uh, uh, across the uh, other groups, for example, ITU-D and ITU-R and other, for example, SD27, ISO IEC SD27. So we have a, that is a role of the question one. And then question two is responsible for security framework. So actually they uh, developed, they developed a very famous uh, recommendation that is a X.805. So define uh, some basic uh, security requirements for the network security. So that is second one. And third one is question three, telecommunication information management systems. Actually, this group has a good relationship with uh, ISO IC JTC1 SC27 working group one. So they have uh, some common work, S had, had still have a common work and, uh, with uh, ISO IC JTC1 SC27 working group one and working group five. And question four, very important question. As you may know, we have a WTSA resolution 50 title is a cyber security. So question four is same title. So question four is cyber security. So it's responsible for uh, cyber security issues. For example, cyber security information is uh, in exchange uh, between the computer emergency response teams. So we believe that the question rules is very important. As you may know, we have another uh, resolution that is a WTSA 52 that is a countering spam, countering and combating spams. So, so question four is responsible for WTSA 16 resolution 52. So title of the uh, question five is uh, countering spam by technical means because study group 17 is mandate is to develop a technical recommendation that uh, not uh, touching a policy and the regulation issues. So title has been a little bit different, but uh, that is the main note. I would like to introduce question six. It's very important. Is normally in the past, question six is responsible for developing IoT security, home net, home home network security and mobile security, for example, 5G security, and the smart grid security. And then, so at this meeting, they will say some, and including, including ITS security, intelligence transport system securities. At this meeting, they will say contribution. So new question has been established, agreed at this meeting. So currently, our roles of the question six is focusing on the IoT security because you know IoT security is everywhere. So I, IoT security is uh, one of the our main priority in this in this study period. And question six is a application layer security. So and then question eight is you may know cloud computing securities. So it's responsible for cloud 
computing secret. In the past study period uh, from study of uh, 2013 to 2016, they developed a very high level, high level uh, framework uh, recommendations. And then question nine, bio, telebiometrics. You may know we and we authenticated by the tel uh, smartphone. We, we use the tele uh, our biometric information uh, for, for users to be authenticated by the entity. So we recognize the importance of the use of the biometrics uh, mechanisms uh, for authentications of users. And the question 10 has a very important role. As I said, study group 17 has a three roles, lead study group one. one of them is a lead study group one identity management. So question 10 is responsible for that role. So question 10 has produced a recommendation X.1254. It's very uh, important uh, recommendations because that provides a entity authentication assurance framework that provide, uh, provides a four levels of assurance framework. And question 11 is basic uh, uh, techn fundamental technology to support a uh, security work. So they define a OID works, o object identifier works, and AS and N work one works, AppSec syntax notation, and other related work. And question 11, actually, I would like to focus uh, emphasis because question 11 has developed, produced a very, very famous and well-recognized recommendation. That is a XAT 509, it's, it's, it's PKI public infrastructure. So you may know PKI can be used as a basic and fundamental technology for every transactions, electronic te transactions, and also we're looking forward to uh, the technology can be used to other areas, for example, smart grid securities. And question 12 is a little bit far from the security works. Actually, they are working on telecommunication languages. So actually, they ha ha have a working on uh, telecommunication language plus testing to in cooperation with study group 11 because study group 11 is uh, responsible for testing so mm -hmm. and you know we've seen that pr privacy I is a key issue in today's uh, ICT ecosystem um, but but privacy it's also a policy discussion uh, as well as a technical discussion um, can you please explain how how your study group is approaching uh, privacy in your work Yes, we, we recognize privacy is very important topic. And then privacy can be used to uh, build a trust between organ for organization. Actually, good news is uh, we had a common text with uh, ISO IH-21 as 27 working group 5, because working group 5 is working on privacy and identity management. Actually, uh, this study of 17 meeting approved a uh, common text that is a X.1058 code of practice for PII protection, personally identifiable protection. Uh, so that is a, actually that is a common te uh, text to be between ITUT study group 17 and uh, ISO IEC JTC1 H27 working group 5. Actually, work, working group five uh, is, uh, finished FDI pilot. So next Hamilton meeting, uh, so working group five, we may produce a international standard. That means that, so we have a one very good, you know, very uh, important recommendation produced by both groups. So in, in the past, ITU, uh, in study group 17 context, privacy is very uh, important, as uh, important uh, topic. And then uh, security technology can be used to protect privacy. So 
that was a, our agreement. So we we do not use a personal data because you you say that uh, you you say that privacy is related to the regulation and the privacy uh, uh, policy issues. So according to the our plenty uh, pot resolution one thirty, so that maybe there is uh, some different interpretation. But our study group seventeen uh, consensus was that uh, we do not touch a some. Policy issues or regulation issues, but we will develop a recommendation to support policy issues and then uh, regulation issues. So, so I think that we actually question ten, as I said, uh, question ten is responsible for identity management. In the question ten text, they have a task items regarding the privacy uh, PII protection issues. So, and then question three has a. Uh, Question three tags also have a uh, task, question task, uh, mentioning about the uh, PII protection. So I think that we continue to uh, explore possibility to deal with the privacy and PII protection issues. And um, you know, looking to the future, um, well, what are some of the, the, the key security threats on, on the horizon, and how might our standardization work help to mitigate those risks? Yes, actually, we when we use the ICT technology, uh, and for example, new emerging area. So emerging, we we. Actually, at the last uh, study of 17, I, mil I believe that March 2016 study of 17 meeting uh, agreed to uh, we identify some emerging area. For example, IMT 2020, so called fifth generation, and we identify did it, uh, we agree uh, emerging area is smart grid and IoT and also digital financial services and ITS. So we study group 17 agreed to continue to uh, provide a technical recommendations to mitigate uh, new threats in the new emerging area, as I said, ITS security, ITS intelligent transport uh, systems, and uh, Internet of uh, Things environments, and also digital financial service uh, environment using uh, mobile uh, devices. So I believe that a study general consensus of Study 17 is to continue to work on that areas, especially for new emerging areas. Okay, Hong Yul, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for your time today and wish you a successful study group period. Yes, thank you.